Hello everybody, this will be a video on imbalances and just really looking at them based off of the order flow template here in XOR Charts. Again, this will be a video added to the XOR Charts playlist, so feel free to check out the other videos. It, I think it would be great use to, for you. And at the moment, there's really no other videos on the YouTubes like that, so make sure to like and subscribe to the video. And so really what I'm looking at is the Delta cluster imbalances and an imbalances is really a difference or extreme difference between market buyers and market sellers. And so really when you ever have a imbalance in between the market buyers and market sellers, it will highlight it for you if there's a significant difference. And just looking at this, when we look at market imbalances, we tend to kind of look at it as a cross direction. So kind of like kitty corner. And so just zooming in on a candle here, I'm gonna turn off some stuff right now so you can see a little bit better. And you can see on the right or the left right here, there is market sellers. And then on the right right here is market buyers. And again, these are all market orders, not limit orders. And so typically when you have a, an imbalance or a significant difference between the two, it will highlight it. And again, we're looking at it with the kitty corner. So in between these two, um, there was a significantly more market sellers compared to market buyers. There was 653,000 orders compared to 232,000 orders. And again, we're just looking at it kitty corner. So again, right here, if we go down, you can see there's 869,000 sell orders compared to 13,000 buy orders. And again, it will highlight the significant difference. On my chart right now, I believe I have it between if there is a 400% difference or more, it will highlight it. And so if there is say like 400% more um, sellers in this case than buyers, it will highlight it. And again, what we are looking for is more imbalances and you kind of want to see them back to back. And so this is what uh, traders like to call stacked imbalances. And a general rule of thumb of what you want to look for with stacked imbalances is three or more imbalances on top of each other. And so here you can see there's three uh, highlighted in black imbalances. And this really means a big chunk of selling action in this specific uh, range of price action. And so you want to take note of this, especially when there is a support and resistance that you are aware of. And usually people or retail traders, I should say, will sell at support <laughs> and then they'll long at resistance. And so really there are times where this will create in an imbalance and uh, essentially it will kind of trap the traders at that resistance and price will just kind of dump down with the retail traders kind of stuck at that level. And so the first thing they can do is wait for price to come back at that level and they'll kind of break even. Um, really, you can look at this as uh, support and resistance on here, really. Um, I'll get more into that. But really, uh, if price does come back into that region, they'll be kind of at a break even and they'll close out of their trade. Or if they really kind of go underwater, um, they will close out of their trade at a loss or they'll just wait until they get liquidated. And again, you can look at liquidations if you turn on the rect up in the volume uh, menu up here, up in the large menu right next to T count and volume, just turn on rect. And this will highlight the amount of people getting liquidated. And typically when you see blue, it means shorts are getting liquidated because it creates a buy order. And typically when you see purple, little purple dots down here, if you can see that, 
it typically means lungs are getting stopped out or liquidated, um, typically liquidated. And liquidated means a uh, person is losing all their margin in that trade. So you can see right here, this was pretty significant. 3.9 million shorts uh, opening up right here. It's probably a whole bunch of longs just getting liquidated as we uh, price kind of dumps down here. And so this becomes very useful, uh, especially with trading swing failure patterns or SFPs for short. And typically you wanna see stacked imbalances in a wick with high volume. So for example, if we turn on our footprint statistics bar and we just look for a long wick up um, typically you want to see trap traders and so this is a good example um, right here where if we look at the middle of the bar you can see we had 35 million volume typically a higher uh, amount of volume especially for one candle size and again we see in stacked and bat or just a single imbalance of a large amount of long orders getting kind of trapped here. So we have 3.5 million and then 3.9 million just kind of all stuck up at a high wick. And if you can see on the side right here on the little candle on right here, you can see there was a quick wick up during this. We had a whole bunch of long people trying to trade the breakout. They were trapped. Price quickly closed below it and uh, Again, they were just kind of trapped up at this price level for quite some time. And so again, you guys can look at this uh, based off of the 15 minute. Um, you guys can also go down and look at the five minute and three minute. Those work very well for those uh, swing failure patterns. Again, I'll go down to the five minute and I like to decrease my tick size a little bit so I have a nice clear of what's going on. And again, you can see a whole bunch of stacked imbalances, uh, long orders coming up into resistance, and then price will quickly close below that and go down. And again, the thing you want to look for is a high amount of volume. Again, on the middle, middle of the bar right here, if you guys can see that, I'll put my video thing over here. Again, if you guys can see that, there's a large amount of volume coming in. And it was a quick wick up and then it quickly got rejected trapping all of these longs at that level and again we did come down for quite some time again let's take a look of a long swing failure pattern that could have happened um again just looking at the previous price history we had a quick wick down right here and really this is a quick liquidity grab of just stopping out people and again we had that happen again over here and so really just zooming in on this candle and seeing what's going on with the order flow. Again, you can see we had a whole bunch of stacked imbalances of shorts coming in and a significant amount of shorts just getting trapped right here. As you can see, we had 5.8 million shorts getting trapped right here. Usually kind of want to take a note of that, especially when it's at a support level. And again, another thing you want to look for is large amounts of volume coming in at that level. And so you can see right here, we had 22 million volume, 27 million volume. And again, we had a lot of liquidations of longs uh, getting liquidated. And this is typically something you kind of want to see for extra confluence. Again, it's not something you want to just trade off of and look at. Uh, make sure to do your TA on... Uh, um, <clears throat> trading view and really look at your indicators and get extra confirmation there. But this is really just seeing what's going on inside the candle and what's happening at the specific price point. And again, we had a whole bunch of stacked imbalances right here. We had price come up and then we had a whole bunch stacked of long imbalances again above these whole bunch of trap shorts. And then we had price rally up a little bit more. Typically, you want to wait for price to come up and you want to see a whole bunch of stacked long imbalances right above where all the trapped uh, shorts are, the trapped uh, short imbalances. And then you want to enter your trade 
really based on when you see confirmation of a whole bunch of stacked longs just kind of trapping those shorts. So really, you, you could have waited until this candle closed based on the five minute, and then you would have probably entered your long trade uh, right here. And again, just wrote it up for a nice percentage. Again, this is a more of a safety net and kind of seeing if uh, traders kind of have your back, larger uh, players, smarter players um, have your back. And this can be just a good uh, cushion for a long trade. That is pretty much it for the video on imbalances. Again, look for stacked imbalances, three or more or four or more, and note of significant uh, large amount of balances are uh, trapped longs or shorts within that balance. Again, this is a very good example. We had a very large amount, 5.8 million. Usually when you see a large amount, like 3 million, 3 million, 3 million or more within a candle that is below current price, usually want to take note of that and just kind of counter trade it. Again, you want to have extra confirmation of the price you want to trade in. When you see a whole bunch of stacked uh, contrary uh, imbalances. So for example, this is long imbalances above those trapped shorts. And so again, right here would be a good confirmation. And again, you guys can just wait uh, and enter on the next candle. Or again, if you guys see these coming in at the time being, you guys can enter along. It will be a little bit more risky, but I'd wait for the next candle and then enter the trade in uh, based off of that. And again, this will be added to an exo, exo charts playlist. So feel free to check out my other videos. I will continue to keep on adding those. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Plus, I'll leave this template order flow balance in a Discord where I post all my trades along with other exochart levels. So feel free to join. Thanks. Bye.